This week, we're going to take a closer look at the Bass Anglers for Saltwater Conservation Organization, also known as Bass for Salt. We're headed up to the Yamaha Midwest Media Event in Bay Harbor, Michigan, to join Americana Outdoors Wade Middleton, who takes the pledge to support Bass for Salt program. Now, it's been said that America's sportsmen are the original conservationists. Anglers have a special connection to nature that requires us to respect our natural resources and fight for their conservation. But we also have an obligation to other anglers on the water to practice safe boating habits. Likewise, we should always be an example to the community by making sure we have the proper credentials to participate in our sport and by getting involved in the policy discussions that affect recreational anglers. This is an amazing initiative that we're doing to get the word out to just normal Americans what they can do to support and defend their right to fish. Well, what you do at the website is uh, there's some great issues on there that you can read about. If you want to just quickly make a difference, you can click on send a letter and that will bring up a pre-written letter. You can uh, enter your information, read that letter off and just hit submit. Boom, it'll send it right over to your representatives. You know, really everyone who's an angler is part of a, a brotherhood of people who fish. And it's so important that we help each other out. If something's going on in their body of water, we should be there for them and maybe they'll be there for us. Also, you don't tend to think about it, but salt water actually affects everyone. Here in the Midwest where we are right now is where we make our props. So if they're not allowed to fish, that actually impacts jobs all over the, the nation. After bass season's over, Bassmaster Elite Series Jeff Crete, who also is a longtime supporter of Bass for Salt, meets up with his good friends Derek Kirkendall and Jeff Welt at Port O'Connor, Texas for an offshore fishing trip. You know, we're here probably my favorite place in the world is uh, everybody talks about man caves and stuff. This is a couple of buddies of mine and I built this place and you can see we like to fish in the salt water. So, when we're down here, this is the getaway, you know? It's the getaway from fishing the tour and all the other stuff. So when we come here, this is our happy place. This is the bottom dropping championship of the world is what this is. You got Derek, the, you got the Port O'Connor full-time guide. So if we don't catch anything, it's all on him. So what happens when I win this? Because well, if you win this, you become you win the title of ultimate bottom, dro bottom dropper for the day. For the day. Yeah. <laughs> Over the maybe the past 20 years, I've I've had saltwater boats, and they keep getting a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger. And now we have that boat, you know, which is powered by four uh, Yamaha 300 horsepowers, and and you know I keep wanting to go a little farther out and a little farther and. We kind of went back to old school with a couple of my best friends and we ran out and we ran out about maybe, you know, 60 miles and fished some, fished some old numbers we used to fish trying to catch, well, whatever bit, you know, that's what was fun about it. We didn't, we didn't really care. How many points are blue runners? I blue runners, no never. points, no points. Hey, here's the deal. Every no blue points runner, on bait. Every, every blue runner means something big. And what we're doing right now, we're stopping on the upcurrent side of these rigs and we're trying to catch what we call blue runners or hardtail. And we'll go out to these wrecks and rocks that we fish and drop that down and the grouper, everything needs a blue runner. They, they, they're real tough, they're real hardy. They're just really great bait. Perfect! I'll be completely honest with you, the funnest thing to catch is bait. It pulls just hard enough to be fun, but not so hard that you don't want to catch another one. Look at there. Oh, gosh. All right, we've got some bait now. Uh, we're going to head out to the shelf and see what we can catch. So the beauty of it is I'm going to go right about there. I'm going to hit navigate to, go to. I'm going to engage that autopilot. I'm going to let it drive me right to it because I can promise you if I drive, it'll save me probably five miles as zigzaggy as I'd be. Log on to BassForSalt.com and find out what you can do to defend our right to participate in the sport we love.